Okay. This is my video on how I memorize the 20 proteinogenic amino acids. Um, mostly do it by memorizing them based on uh, whether they are hydrophobic, hydrophilic, uh, or positively or negatively charged. So I group the amino acids in that way, which I think is a useful way to memorize them. And then I have this silly story that helps me remember what amino acids are in each group. So uh, here's the story. Let us begin. It is a story about three chemists. It's quite a crazy story, so we say G before we start it. G. Al. Val. And Lou. Finally isolated some proper methamphetamine and they immediately started to get freaking high and they were tripping. So G, Al, Val, and Lou isolated some proper methamphetamine and now they're freaking tripping. Okay. So, of course, all amino acids have this basic structure. So this is the alpha carbon here. And then I'm just going to draw the R group coming down from that. So the first amino acid is glycine. It's very easy to remember. It's three letter code and it's one letter code. There. So it basically doesn't have an R group. There's just two hydrogens bonded to that alpha carbon. Pretty simple. Um, next is Al, which is of course short for Alan, or in this case, Alanine. And it is the next most simple amino acid. It's just got one carbon, a beta carbon. So all amino acids after this are building off of this beta carbon. They all have at least a, a beta carbon attached to the alpha carbon here. Okay, next, Al and Val. So we've got G, Al, Val. Val is for valine. And Val is indeed its three letter abbreviation and has a very simple one letter code V. It's also simple, it's easy to remember its structure uh, with code because you just make a V with its beta carbon. There you go. Okay, then we got leucine, Lu. Um, very straightforward with its abbreviation and its one letter code. So um, valine was a two carbon chain. Leucine, we're getting a little more complicated now. It's a three carbon chain. And then it's got an extra carbon coming off of its middle carbon here. So you could maybe think of that, that's like an L, or just remember it. Then we have isoleucine. Its three letter code is I-L-E, which isn't too hard to remember, isoleucine. It's sort of the strong sounds in isoleucine. So it's, as you might imagine, very similar to leucine. It just moves where the carbon is. If you think about it, there's only one place it can go because if it went here, it would actually be a four carbon chain. So it just goes to the first carbon or the, the beta carbon there. So G, Al, Val, and Lu finally isolated some 
proper proline pro and p. So very logical three letter abbreviation and one letter code. So for this we need to go back to the original diagram of the amino acid and it is also a three carbon chain but in this case the chain is attached back it attaches to the amino group if you look at it the one letter code for proline is actually a diagram of proline it makes a p look at that amazing um, of course the way I've been doing it before the p would be dropping down like this like a mirror image but it's the same it's just looking at it from a different direction so then they got high on meth M E T M so very straightforward there and I like to think about this as still a three carbon chain but meth is a pretty messed up drug so this three carbon chain is pretty messed up it's got this sulfur before the final carbon then we've got the phenylalanine so its code is PHE and the fact that we said they were getting freaking high emphasizes that F sound that's a clue that the one letter code is F so that is pretty straightforward it is just alanine with a phenyl group on it great and finally tryptophan the fact that we said they were tripping is a, code, is a clue that the three letter abbreviation is TRP trip and they're tripping so hard that they came up with the idea that the one letter code should be W and they were so high on meth that they actually thought that made sense that's how I remember that now for this one what we're actually going to do is use that W and make it part of the structure so you get that W there's a benzene ring here some nitrogen there and it joins up like that then you got some double bonds there you go that is tryptophan and as you can imagine if you were high on meth and running a meth lab you might very well get very paranoid and very phobic and indeed all of these amino acids are hydrophobic just like Al, Val, and Lou would be if they were running a meth lab high on meth. So those are the hydrophobic amino acids and in my next video I'm going to do the amino acids with charged side chains. So, catch you there.